All right, in this video, let's take a look at another scenario where we might potentially use React Memo incorrectly. First, let's do the component setup. Now we can reuse the parent three component. So I'm going to create only the child component. In the incorrect optimization folder, I'm going to create a new file called child4.js. I'm going to use the snippet RAFC to create a function component. I'm going to destructure name from props and in the JSX add hello followed by name. I'll also include the all important log message. So console log child for render. At the end, let's export a memoist version of our child for component. So export const memoist child for is equal to react dot memo passing in child for which is our component defined above. Let me quickly format this. Now our child component does a little more than rendering hello name. It is also going to display the current time. That is hours, minutes and seconds. So first let's get hold of the current date And in the JSX, let's render the time. Hello name. It is currently date dot get hours, date dot get minutes, date dot get seconds. So that is our child component. It renders hello followed by the name prop and it also renders the current hours minutes and seconds. We also want this component to be optimized. So we wrap it with react.memo and export that component. Back in our parent three component, let's import it. I'm going to comment out memoist child three and instead include memoist child four. Make sure to import it at the top and pass in the name prop. So name is equal to name. Let's now head to the browser and test this code. On page load, you can see that we have the log messages from the initial render. If I clear the console, click on change name, both components re-render. The memoized child component re-renders because the name prop changed. Now I'm going to click on the count button. Clear the console, click on count. This time only the parent component re-renders. The child component does not re-render because its props did not change. You might have already realized, but this is an incorrect optimization. Ideally, when there is a change in the UI, I would also want the time to get updated. If I reload the page and ask you to focus on minutes and seconds, which is 1017, you can see that when the name prop changes, the time also gets updated. However, with change in count, the time never updates because of memoization. I understand that this is a very contrived example to demo the scenario and is a very rare use case, but I want to make you aware that such scenarios do exist. So when you're dealing with impure components, make sure you're aware of the consequences when using react.memo. By impure components, I'm sort of referring to components where the JSX can change even though the props and state remain the same. Using date in the JSX is one such example and using randomness is another example that I can think of. If you're using math.random to calculate a value which is then rendered in the JSX, react.memo might be an incorrect optimization. 
So that is what I wanted to highlight in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.